I told y'all not to go to the bubble in the first place. Now y'all talking about, man, we shouldn't even came down there, man. We should have just stuck to what we were doing. And I told y'all that. Jop out. B B King. Now let's talk about. It. So, you know, very sad thing happened. You know, you know, your day four yesterday or whatnot. Brother Jacob uh Blake. Get killed by a silly, goofy cop or whatnot. A race soldier or whatnot. Now the Lakers ain't going to have no game tonight. Goody, that's what y'all get. That's what y'all get because I told you not to go down there, mate. These people ain't got enough sense to keep the shit popping, you know, and they can't do two things at one time. They can't watch the game and stay focused on the plan, mate. They can't do it. Black or damn white. I heard all the, the white people talk. We need a distraction from all the rioting and all the COVID-19 stuff. The, the distraction. See, they don't want to see this shit. You see what I'm saying? But really, it's a very sad time that we in 2020 and the brothers is still getting shot down like that, man. That's crazy. That's insanity at the end of the day. That brother walk into his car. Don't matter what he said. And then I just put up a video where uh, a little white boy, you know, was getting in his car, cop telling him to stop. He pushed the cop down. The cop tased him. And he chased the cop away. He, he chased the cop away to a black man. That's amazing. <laughs> that was magic or whatnot. The cop started running. Knowing damn well if there was a black man charging at a cop, it ain't even no thought about what gonna happen. Okay, and that's the hypocrisy in America. You see what I'm saying? They bet not play tonight. King, you bet not play tonight. I don't even wanna see. I don't even wanna see. Though I told y'all that in the first place, and I knew it was gonna happen, y'all gonna get down. It ain't never stopped. It never stopped. It just kept going on and on and on and on and on. And it's going to keep going. And I ain't going to lie. I've been watching every every Laker game. You know what I'm saying? Catching other ones here and there. But I was like, is this right me even watching? Because it, it felt funny. You understand what I'm saying? Because it felt funny. Because the these is who everybody listened to. I know in the black community, everybody, this who everybody, look at the rappers, the basketball player, the football player, this who they everybody like. These is the black politicians or whatnot. And this man right here, King, he, he the biggest one. And he was the one advocating about going down there. And at first, I when they was playing the first couple of games, I was seeing him struggling. So I was like, nah, I don't want to hit that now. You know what I'm saying? Because you down there. You were down there. King, you was the biggest advocate about doing the bubble. And now you playing good. I don't want y'all to stop. To be real. But if it take this, you know, to get everybody attention back on what we doing, it's sad that a little basketball game can be big. We're in the middle of a war. And a basketball game can take everybody's attention away. Now you, now you see, like in Jamaica, Every time it just be happening in Jamaica, they would have to go find Bob Marley or something and have him perform to heal the people up with the music. To distract them, the politicians in Jamaica used to do the same thing. And the one time he didn't comply because they were trying to, you know, make him be with JNP or PNP. And he said, I'm not with none of that. I'm on God's side. And then they tried to kill the brother. So they don't want the black man nowhere making no decisions. They don't care how much money you got. See, people like LeBron, the real rich and famous. I'm talking about the, the people who face this known all over the world. Jay-Z and Beyonce, they ain't got nothing to worry about. The people, they ain't got nothing to worry about. Now, everybody else, I don't care if you a millionaire athlete or not, they'll pull you over just like anybody else and be like, let me see your driver's license. And then you reach over to get the shit out the thing. My pop, pop, pop. Like, hey, hey, I done seen it. I done seen it. 
They be slamming the NFL players down. I think they just look at you no different than anybody else on the streets. Okay? That's just facts. So I don't even want to hear that. And they down there now talking about, man, we shouldn't even came down here, bro. They don't respect us. George Hill. That's right. That, that's right. So Kyrie was right at, at the end of the day. And I don't blame them for going down there because I wanted to see the shit too. But I I made I did a video on this when it was first happening. I said, y'all don't go. Because this ain't going to do nothing but distract from what we doing. That's all that it done. That's all that it done. They wasn't even asking. It was the brothers down there saying, Brianna Taylor, this, that, and the third. You know, Brother George Floyd. They was the one talking about it. The little reporters wasn't even bringing that shit up no more. How many points you score, bro? They over there asking about how many y'all think y'all going to score tonight? Y'all think y'all can, they asking questions like that. How many rebounds you going to get? That's what the uh, white people, the Europeans, interested in. That's what they interested in. They not interested in no justice for black people. They want you to keep forgetting about it. And it's easy for black people just to forget about it too. Even though it's right there in their face every day. So you can't forget. Because I seen, uh... Akon talking about, man, black people, y'all in America, man, just need to forget about it. It's easy for you to say you a billionaire, bro. How you going to say something like that, Akon? Bro, you one of my favorite artists of all time. Don't mess it up, bro, for real. Don't mess it up. Just If you ain't got nothing good to say, just don't even say nothing, bro. You you ain't got to stay over here. And, and the brothers and sisters, uh, we don't either, but... We don't understand that as a group. I do. I do. Hell, I want to move into Senegal in your city, and I still might. But don't mess that up, brother. Keep that. And so, you know, last night I seen with some white boy went and got the shooting. <laughs> no, you got to. Go so, uh, they got the shooting, and. The police, the white boy that was shooting, shot two people at the protest and wounded another one and just walked right past the police. Police just stood there. That's crazy. That's the hypocrisy in America. So, family, I got another video. I'm going to see y'all in a minute. Be safe out there, man, because I don't want to see that. Because this right here, like I said, is energy draining, man. And I love you. Be safe. See y'all in a few minutes. Job power. B B King. Oh, when you say that.